what's good YouTube welcome back to our YouTube channel today I got a new series that I want to start looking at some of the top prospects in this year's draft class talking about how they compare to each other maybe give my thoughts on what I think NBA teams could be looking at when comparing the two and just kind of get into overall how I think their careers could fare versus each other the first you know week I want to start with Cade Cunningham in today's episode I got him versus Evan Mobley two of the best prospects in this year's draft class so let's get into the video. So when you look at Kate Cunningham versus Evan Mobley, you have two very unique prospects. On one hand, you have a player in Kate Cunningham who's six foot eight, point guard, who sees the floor well, passes the ball well, and really doesn't have a whole lot of holes in his game. On the other hand, you have Evan Mobley, who's a seven foot center, who has a ton of potential. He can run the floor well, someone for his size. He shows the ability to handle the ball, shoot the ball a little bit, and really just fits the overall mold of a center in today's NBA. And so that's where you kind of have the debate, I guess, between the two. You have a point guard who is, you know, maybe a once in 10 year type prospect, and you have a center who could potentially be, you know, a once in a 10 year type prospect. And so it creates an interesting debate between the two, and they both have their own, you know, strengths and weaknesses. And I think NBA teams, whoever gets that top pick is going to have to, you know, weigh the two and make sure that they're making the correct decision. So looking at both their games offensively, it's a little hard to compare the two as obviously they play two very different positions. When you look at Cade, he's a 6'8 point guard who can really pass the ball, is a true floor general, uh, knows how to make his teammates better, and I think his game just really fits today's NBA. He's a three-level scorer who's not afraid to get into the post and exploit smaller guards. He can score in that mid-range area, and he really, in his one season at Oklahoma State, answered the one question about his game, which was his jump shot, as he shot 40% from three. And so I think on the offensive side of the ball, Cade's the type of player who you can just give the ball to at the end of games, let him close games. He's going to make the right play, whether that's getting it to a teammate or creating something for himself. When you look at Evan, he's a little different, obviously, because he's a center. Uh, he's really athletic for someone his size. He's a lob finisher, uh, dunker type player who's shown you know, flashes of the ability to handle the ball a little bit step out and shoot the mid-range to three-point jump shot but right now that part of his game isn't fully developed and so obviously going into the NBA I think Cade is more advanced right now but when you look at Evan you're looking at you know someone who has the tools to do that it's just a matter of can he put it all together offensively and become you know a complete big guy uh, that's really the question mark on the offensive side of the ball when looking at the defensive side of the ball, I think both players have strong cases to be, you know, better one versus the other. Obviously, again, you have two different players doing, you know, two different positions or whatever. But again, Cade's six foot eight and he fits today's basketball perfectly. He's, he's built sturdy. He can guard probably one through four in today's NBA. Uh, and so he offers a lot of positional flexibility on that end of the floor. Teams are always looking, you know, to switch everything in today's NBA. And he's a player who's perfectly capable of doing that. And I think offers high upside on that end of the floor. When you look at Evan, again, another player who really fits today's NBA. He's a seven footer who has, you know, a long wingspan, can block shots, is mobile, can, you know, get out on switches and not get burnt by them. He's a rim protector and again offers a ton of versatility on that end of the floor um, just again with his length his athleticism his size he's got room to put on weight uh, obviously he's a little light right now but he should you know develop get sturdier and i think again another player who offers a ton on that end of the floor and so i don't think you can say one player has particularly advantage over the other in that area of the game Overall though, I think you have to go with Cade Cunningham as being the better prospect of the two. I think he offers a situation where he has a high floor, but also offers an extremely high ceiling. I think worst case scenario for Cade is he's a 10 to 15 year starter who's probably above average at his position with the potential to be you know, an all NBA, maybe top five player in the league type player. When you look at Evan Mobley, he offers 
probably that same type of ceiling he's got you know that anthony davis type game but it's more still just a question mark of that floor and is he gonna put it all together um again i think he's another player who you know will find his way in the league he'll have a long career just because he's that physically gifted but you know it's a little more of a question mark if he's gonna put it all together i think both like i said are unique prospects i think both have a chance to be really good but i think just right now i think you have to go with Cade cunningham being that guy uh he's just like i said built for today's nba and i think he's got you know like i said that high floor high ceiling combo you can't go wrong with it and so those are my thoughts on the two players i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below let me know who you would take with the number one overall pick would it be Cade cunningham evan mobley who you think is going to have the better career stuff like that leave that down in the comment section below make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later